briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2012, the Maine Supreme Judicial Court heard State v. Knowlton, a case centered around the admissibility of a defendant's incriminating statements made after invoking the right to counsel during a drug trafficking investigation in 2009. Scott E. Knowlton had been taken into police custody by Maine Drug Enforcement Agency agent William Campbell, who questioned him about his involvement in the operation. After becoming upset, Knowlton requested an attorney and was placed under arrest. However, five hours later, Knowlton waived his right to counsel and made incriminating statements during a subsequent interview with Agent Campbell. The initial court suppressed these statements, but the state appealed. The main issue in the appeal was whether or not Knowlton had voluntarily initiated the interrogation, or if Agent Campbell had done so in violation of Knowlton's Fifth Amendment rights. The court decided to vacate the judgment and remand the case for further proceedings, determining that the Schatzer standard applied incorrectly in this case. It ruled that the Edwards and Bradshaw framework should be used to assess Knowlton's voluntary waiver of counsel rights and initiation of interrogation before determining the admissibility of his statements. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.